had an opportunity to answer at that time. I now recognize the gentlelady from Arizona, Ms. Lesko, for her five minutes of questioning. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you for all of you being here. I apologize, I had to go to another committee hearing and come back here. Um, Mr. Sardella, a key role of the FDA's mission to ensure drug safety, effectiveness, and ultimately availability includes its foreign and domestic drug manufacturing facility inspections program. While the COVID-19 pandemic effectively halted nearly all overseas inspections for 2020 and part of 2021, the number of inspections conducted both in the U.S. and overseas has been precipitously declining since 2016. In 2019, in its 2019 report of FDA inspection data, the GAO identified FDA's inability to oversee the global supply chain as a high risk issue and concluded with recommendations to the agency to increase the number of inspections of foreign drug establishments. Unfortunately, GAO's 2022 follow-up report on FDA's inspection capabilities did not conclude that the agency is, in any better off, is any better off in conducting timely and reliable foreign inspections. In fact, GAO found that the share of foreign facilities that have not been inspected in over five years has increased from 30% in 2020 to nearly 80% in 2022. Furthermore, GAO shared that the FDA inspected just 6% of facilities overseas in 2022. Given that most U.S. drugs and APIs are manufactured in foreign facilities, this raises serious concerns with FDA's ability to ensure the quality and availability of human medical products manufactured overseas. So my question to you is, how critical are timely and effective inspections of both domestic and foreign manufacturing facilities for ensuring the security of our drug supply chain? They're absolutely essential for us ensuring the quality and the safety of the medicines that US citizens consume. They're also extremely important in ensuring the stability of the market because through those inspections, the ability to understand which manufacturers are complying, which manufacturers are delivering on quality manufacturing processes. And then the next element there is incentivizing that, rewarding those that don't have any warning letters for decades and decades, mm -hmm. as opposed to those who in fact would. The ability to make that distinction on quality is to have a robust inspection, auditing process that allows us to make those distinctions, both to ensure the market is stable and to allow for safety of the medicines. I agree, and I think most um, US uh, people would be surprised at the low number of inspections that are going on for the drugs that they are taking each and every day um, and foreign um, drug makers. This past December, the president authorized $10 million for a pilot program to increase the number of foreign inspections at the FDA. However, the agency has cited challenges in the agency's ability to recruit and retain investigators as a major factor in the delay or dereliction of timely foreign inspections. Um, again, Mr. Sardella, how confident are you that this pilot program will close the gap in the share of overseas establishments that remain unexpected, uninspected while there remains a fundamental challenge within FDA to retain investigators and prioritize foreign inspections. Yeah, I feel FDA is no dissimilar to any uh, organization in its struggles to develop talent, recruit talent to conduct its efforts. I feel they, like all organizations, will be challenged to be able to allow for the right workforce that allow, enables them to go overseas as well as globally to do their inspections. Um, I also feel that there's other opportunities to allow for understanding of the quality of medicines that are more technical in nature versus only inspection in nature. Mm. 
modernizing the monitoring systems. Uh, Fernando had talked about the new emergent uh, advanced manufacturing technologies, control systems that monitor the productions every second as these medicines are produced. Those will allow inspection and observation without being at the facility, only through data transport in real time every second. Those will be very transformational capabilities that we should look into and enable the FDA to utilize and leverage. Thank you, and I yield back. Appreciate the gentlelady yielding back. Now recognize uh, Dr. Ruiz of California for his five minutes of questioning. Thank you, and thank you.